the sixth <laughs> annual Pines for Pops Blood Drive is happening this Friday in Frankfurt. Here to tell us how you can be supportive are uh, Teresa Lewis and Remy Kennedy. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Yes. So we know this is your sixth annual, but it for is. people that don't know, how did Pines for Pops get started? My dad in 2014 was diagnosed with cancer. He was 72. His granddaughters called him Pops, and so thus the name Pops. Um, he, he, at the end of his journey, two and a half years later, um, right before he succumbed to it, he had been taking blood products, platelets, almost every day at the end. Those three months that it got, that the blood transfusions got us, included October, November, and December. So that gave us what we knew were our last Thanksgiving and Christmas with him. And, and they were so wonderful and, and we are so thankful for that time. And so because other people gave of their blood, um, he was able to have that time. Personally, I had never considered that a call for a blood donation was directed at me. Well, somebody should do that, but not me. And I realized at that time I needed to do that. So 10 days after his funeral, I was at a blood drive and giving, and I just asked if I could give in memory, and then Pints for Pops was born. Pints for Pops. That, that, that's Pints, a, it's got a ring. My, yeah, my younger daughter came up with that, yeah. so I liked that. And so thus far we have collected 458 pints, which each pint affects three lives, so yeah. that's over 1,300 mm -hmm. lives that we've affected thus far. So. That's, that's amazing because I know right now is a very pivotal time to give blood uh, with the shortage. Yes. Uh, what would you say to those that mm -hmm. are hesitant to give blood, but uh, yes. are, they want to, but they just don't know where to start? Yeah. Yeah, so I would say that you never know when it's going to be a loved one or even yourself in the hospital. Um, so I would say just try it out. It's probably going to be better than you're expecting. Um, and the number one reason we usually hear why people don't donate is because either they were never asked or they never thought about it. So this is really an opportunity to say to those people like, hey, we are asking, so please make your appointment and come on out. And you can come to this event to do just that, right? Absolutely. Yes. So yes. where is the event? What is all the information about the event for those who want to attend? It's at Capital City Christian Church this year, which is um, located between two car dealerships on Versailles Road, US 60 in Frankfurt. The official address, if you need to put it in your mm -hmm. GPS, is 15 Locust to Drive. It begins at 11 and it ends, my last appointments are at 5. I am booked pretty much through about 1.30, but the, the afternoon is wide open. I have 36 appointments left. So we would love to get those filled. So you're talking about 36 more appointments. That means 36 more people, 36 times three. What's the math on that, Dave? 36 <laughs> times three? 108. Well, what you, what, oh, he's not paying. He's not even paying attention <laughs> over there. I, I was trying to stop Dave over there. But we, but you're right. Such such an important cause. And not only for this event, but yes. to give any time. Anywhere. Year, right? Absolutely. Not just, yes. not this one, but just give. Yeah. It, it, you don't, you don't realize what, benefit you're giving to other people yeah because yeah. I've really yeah I've actually given blood on the show <laughs> before awesome. yeah and yeah. it's really I mean it's really uh, you feel good afterwards you might feel a little you get your snacks in you or whatever yeah. but um, for those who don't know about the experience how would you describe it yeah, so I would say it's just an experience kind of like going to the doctor's office. So you might be a little apprehensive, kind of like, I don't like going to the doctor. But then once you get in there and our staff greets you, you know, there's wonderful volunteers like Teresa here that'll greet you and kind of walk you through the process. You register, you go through a mini physical at health history, then you get on the bed, and the actual bleeding part is only eight to 10 minutes. So people mm -hmm. get confused about that because we say, you know, it takes an hour and they're like, am I sitting there the whole hour? No, you're only on the bed bleeding for about eight to 10 minutes then you can get cookies and some juice and then you feel good because you're like I just saved potentially three lives mm. so the blood supply remains vulnerable right now so we're still encouraging people to come out and donate anytime and you just never know who you could help it could be a trauma patient someone battling cancer someone battling sickle cell um, and really one of the crazy stats that I like to point out is that you know a single car accident victim could require up to 100 units of blood mm. so that means 100 people had to donate to help one person so that kind of helps put it in a picture of how important it is and how needed mm -hmm. it is yeah That's incredible, I yeah. hear all the time I don't like needles well who does right no one does, <laughs> no, one does. No. no one's like hey let me do this right yeah, yeah. And, and it hurts for yeah. two seconds mm -hmm. you know but yeah. But, but the feeling doing. that you walk away with 
mm -hmm. is wonderful. That's what yeah. makes a difference. And, yes. and again, the date on that, uh, so people can come out to it your event? It is Friday, this Friday, March 18th, mm -hmm. well, we in Frankfurt. Well, we appreciate all the great work yes. you're doing. Thank you. I'm going to try to uh, try to make it oh, out there. Oh, great. Yeah, love to have you. Donate. That would be great. Yeah, always get nervous donating, but yeah. I, I feel like it's for a great cause. And, it is. You know, we appreciate what you're doing for the community. Yeah. yeah. And I should I should end on the note that everybody wants to know. My mama's cookies will be there. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, there, there you go. Now, they are always the large draw. <laughs> See, that... <laughs> You know the way to my heart, you know, like, Teresa. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> what kind of maybe cookies are they? Chocolate chip, and she makes oh, the good. best. Does she I make mean, a lot for this event? She absolutely <laughs> does. Just making sure. Sure. She does. She absolutely does. She's already started on them today. Yeah, she's baking. Uh, yep. yeah. Oh, I, I, I should say so. Like it's it's going to take a lot of hard work to get those cookies to everybody. Absolutely. But I, I love chocolate chips, so yes. I, I guess I'm I'm there. You're there. Excellent. Yeah, that's the deal. Thank you for having us.